Well, holy smokes, this next segment. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> no one does. I can tell you I hated it. Because it pretty much sucked. I can't tell you how much I hated it. I don't have the words to express how much I hated this next thing. Wow. So the varsity blondes are in the ring. And Pillman's there talking about the House of Black because it's time to bring this back up now after like two years, whatever it's been. And uh, so Julia Hart got misted in one eye and she wore an eye patch. She's sad and it's been going on. And now out of nowhere, suddenly half her face is painted black. And uh, Pillman, or yeah, Pillman's talking about that happened to Julia Hart. Starts talking about his dad's friend, uh, John Harbaugh in the crowd and motivational quotes from John and he lost focus. He got comfortable and complacent. They lost their enthusiasm, but and that's when the House of Black took him out. But today is a new day, he screams, and I'm feeling really goddamn enthusiastic. So he calls out the House of Black. They do the whole entrance. That takes forever. They get in the ring, and there's a stare down for like a week or two. And Pillman finally starts like gesturing, let's fight, we can go now. And I don't know if he was supposed to be thrown off his game or if these guys just waited so long that he didn't he thought they forgot their cue or something. He's like shrugging. Finally the fight starts. The blondes get their asses kicked. Julia Hart is menaced. They give her a chair. They want her to hit Griff Garrison. Griff is down on the mount down on the mat, scurred and cowering in terror. There's a cheerleader with a chair over me. A one-eyed cheerleader with a chair. What do I do? Crowd chanting for the House of Black. So she won't hit him with a chair. So Malachi rips off her eye patch. Now she's in agony. Can't just close her eyes if it's if it's that sensitive light. The blondes disappear. Death Triangle comes out. House of Black leaves. Then there's like a commercial and a promo, whatever. And for the next match, Julia is out there all alone. The Varsity Blondes ab abandon her, and she just walks out on her own. What the hell was this? Bro, I must have talked for 10 minutes about this on Observer Live today, so I'm not going to repeat everything. So only one third as long as it actually went. But, but, there was a lot of things wrong with this. Name one thing right. Well, nothing. Okay. Okay. So, uh, first off, poor Pillman. This poor fucker, he's trying to cut a promo and no one gives a shit because the promo's about spooky shit. Her dark soul. I can't remember what he said about Julia. I don't know. But no one cared. And then he starts getting fired up and he was actually all right. And then he challenges them to a fight and they come out and he just stands there. And then they beat his ass. So, like, these two baby faces are dead. So when he's standing there, Julia Hart is behind them, okay? I thought for sure she was going to low blow them, and then they would get their asses kicked. Something would have happened. Which, if that had been the case, by the way, you would have done the turn, got it over with. They would have looked like much... They'd still be geeks because they should have seen this coming, but at least they would have got hit low before they got their asses kicked. Instead, they challenged these guys to a fight, stood there like blokes, and then they got killed. So... You know how we talk about, okay, El Santo, pretend he's not dead. El Santo is going to main event Triple Mania, for example, against uh, Vampiro in a mask versus hair match. Okay. Does anybody not know what the finish is going to be? Uh, Vampiro's getting a haircut. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're still going to sell a million tickets. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sometimes the fans know what's going to happen. And uh, and you give it to them, and they're happy, okay? I don't care what Julia Hart has been doing on Dark. I don't care if she's been working heel or whatever, all right? For those of us watching on television, she got sprayed in the eye with mist about six months ago. And, uh, and for some reason, he actually missed, which is, you know, kind of a problem. But allegedly, she got sprayed in the eye with mist. And uh, she's been weird ever since. Everybody else has recovered from the mist except Julia Hart, okay? And she's got the thing, and she's got paint, and you just know that underneath that thing, she's got the Malachi black eye, and she's going to be healed. I think everybody watching on TV knows this, okay? It's fucking time. It was time on Wednesday to pull the trigger on this thing. We all know it's coming. We were all waiting for it. 
And for whatever reason, they didn't pull the trigger, okay? And when they didn't pull the trigger, it wasn't for something better. No. They didn't pull the trigger, and the segment was horrible. So, I don't even know what you do. It feels like they've long since missed the, you know, Buddy Wayne, when it's time. Oh, time was... We missed that time a long time ago. Yeah. I think if they pull the trigger like this coming Wednesday, the fans will still pop for it. But, bro, it's time to pull the fucking trigger. Like, it's been way too long. I'm all for slow builds. I'm all for take your time. I'm all for not rushing. We're far past that. Far past that. I think this is probably the worst segment on the show since the Dark Order beat up, like, the Young Bucks. It's been a long time since I I mean, this was bad. Bad. And Vinny has driven all the way here, and his camera's not working. Oh, cool. Classic. It's pointing at the back of the TV. Oh, Riveting. right. Yep, we go that way. Uh, nope, uh, wrong way, bro. 180 degrees oh, the wrong way. Oh. Yep. We don't need two cameras on me. Hey, hey oh, there hey. he is. By the way, you need a good nose hair trimming. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.